Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and tis the season to be jolly because it is the last round before the Victory Road series and the Striaton Greens are hosting the Glissado Nordics as they try to avoid winning or earning the Twisted Spoon, whereas the Glissado Nordics just want to finish their season on a high. So let us know in, a co in the comments below who you think will win. Will it be the Grass Types? Will it be the Ice Types? Let's go! But that is right, the Glissado Nordics unfortunately will not be able to make the Victory Road Series, but they could win five games in a row to finish off the season as they start out with Weavile and Backscalibur. It will be Electrode in its Asurian form and Scoville and starting out for the Striaton Greens. As Weavile is exerting that pressure, we get the gravity from Electrode, so that gravity does intensify. Nobody will be flying whilst that is up, but the Aurora Beam from Weavile onto Electrode, super effective, massive hit there, and Backscalibur looking to follow it up, is going to go for the Blaze Kick onto Scuffle, massive damage there on the part fire type, capitalizing on the Grass type, and as it responds with the Giga Impact onto Backscalibur, great response there by Scoville with that Moody ability, who gets a massive speed boost, but does have its special defense lowered here, and it it is now the quickest, but unfortunately it has to recharge after that Giga Impact. But Electrode looking to follow up goes with the whole back onto Weavile, but that is not a shiny Weavile, and it is going to respond with the Splash, but unfortunately gravity prevents it from happening, so the high horsepower from Backscalibur is going to eliminate Scovillain from this matchup. And now they're at the send is Brute Bonnet as Electrode is going to go for the Psycho Cut, but it does go for Weavile, who is immune to Psychic type moves being part Dark type, and this allows Weavile to go with the Shadow Sneak onto Brute Bonnet, a fellow part dark type, but that is not very effective, and Backscalibur follows it up with the Aqua Ring, so it's going to surround itself with this Veil of Water, will be restoring health in between turns, but first Brute Bonnet is going to ride that Surf! Now it's not very effective on Electrode or Backscalibur, and there is Backscalibur having its health restored, now the Striton Greens, if they lose this matchup, they are guaranteed to take home the Twisted Spoon this season, as the Bitter Blade on the Backscalibur from Electrode, it is going to get a little bit of health restored with that, and they do not want that Twisted Spoon coming home with them, as the Thermal Exchange will boost Backscalibur, Backscalibur's attack there, sorry, as the Sludge Bomb onto Electrode, it's super effective there from Weavile, and Electrode is eliminated from this matchup, as Backscalibur is going to go for the Shockwave here, onto Brute Bonnet, which is not very effective, Brute Bonnet tanks that move, and is going to respond with the Body Slam here, onto Weavile, a massive hit, but Weavile is able to hold on, but it is in knockout range, as Backscalibur does have its health restored, now out comes Miascarada for the Strikes and Greens, but Weavile still with the speed advantage, goes for the Bleak Windstorm, hitting both Brute Bonnet and Miascarada, it is super effective on them both, but Miascarada taking much more damage as Brute Bonnet's speed does get lowered, and now we get the X Scissor from Miascarada, so with that protein ability, it does become a bug type, and it eliminates Weavile with that super effective move, getting the first one for the Strikes and Greens, as they definitely needed to counteract the Glissado Nordics, but the Night Slash onto Brute Bonnet, not very effective, but a massive hit there from Backscalibur with that critical hit, in fact, and Brute Bonnet looking to respond is going to go for the Razor Shell, now this won't be very effective onto Backscalibur there, the Pseudo Legendary, able to tank that before it has its health restored with the Aqua Ring. Now the gravity has returned to normal, which means everybody will be able to splash as Bear Tick comes out onto the field, and Miascarada with the Flail instantly meeting it for some okay damage there, and Backscalibur Responding with the poison powder, but Miascarada is able to avoid that attack and Bear Tick looking to follow up with the facade here onto Miascarada and gets the critical hit. Miascarada is eliminated from this matchup with a massive hit there from Bear Tick as the rock polish from Brute Bonnet here is going to boost its speed a great deal. It only has that base 55 speed, so I don't know if it'll be quicker than the other two, but out comes Go Goat onto the field for the Striking Greens, and Brute Bonnet is in fact now the quickest on the field, going with the Fire Pledge onto Backscalibur. Backscalibur yet again having that Thermal Exchange ability activated, so it gets another attack boost, and now it's going to go with the Agility, so it is going to boost its speed. You have to think it will now be quicker than Brute Bonnet as Go Goat going for its first move of the matchup, going with the Take Heart here. So it is going to boost those special stats, both that special attack and special defense. Now it is more of a physical attacker as Beartic is going to go with the Screech on the Brute Bonnet. It's going to greatly lower its defense here. See if the boost of the attack of Backscalibur can capitalize as it's still having its health restored from that Veil of Water. And Backscalibur throwing out the Worry Seed, but it does fail, unfortunately. And this allows Brute Bonnet to go with the Mystical Power on the Beartic. Get some okay damage in there. 
on that massive ice type bear. The Brute Runner also gets a special attack boost in the process as Gogo follows it up with the Fire Lash and Bear is able to hold on after that super effective move by a threat as it has its defense load. Not that it'll have much defense if it takes a hit. It does respond with the Simple Beam here onto Gogoat, so it is going to change that Grass Pelt ability into the Simple Ability, see if those stats can go higher or lower as Baxalba continues to have that health restored and it has that boosted speed as it goes with the Howl now, so it is going to boost its attack yet again and it has a base 145 attack, so if you take a physical hit from it now, you're probably out of this match as the light screen is set up by Brute Bonnet, making the grass type stronger against special moves. They need to be stronger against physical moves. There was the waterfall on the bear tick from Gogo gets the elimination. The Strider Tinkerins is trying to hold on here, but the Glissado Nordics do seem to be in control at this stage as that Veil of Water continues to restore Baxcalibur's health. Now out comes Avalok for the Glissado Nordics as Baxcalibur with the shelter. It is going to boost its defenses now. So boosting all those physical stats for the pseudo legendary. Now the Psycho cut onto Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur tanks that move from Brute Bonnet and Gogo follows it up with the Belly Drum. So it's going to cut into its health here, but it is going to maximize its attack stat, which is base 100 and Avalok with the Hyper Beam. And Brute Bonnet tanks that move, but it is in knockout range. Very impressive there by Brute Bonnet to be able to withstand that Hyper Beam as Baxcalibur now with the Pain Split. And I think that's actually going to favor Brute Bonnet having some of its health restored thanks to Baxcalibur. And it is going to respond with the Parabolic Charge hitting everybody on the field. It's not very effective on Gogoat or Baxcalibur. Back Baxcalibur is now in knockout range as Brute Bonnet is going to have its health restored thanks to that Parabolic Charge. Now, as I've said, the Striking Greens do not want to head home with the Twisted Spoon this season. But if they lose, that is what will happen. Is the pedal dance now from Gogo on to Avalog, and Avalog is eliminated from this matchup. And the playing field is leveled. That is exactly what the Striking Greens needed here. His back Scalibur does have a little bit of health restored, but we know that that pedal dance will continue from Gogo. As out comes Cryogonal onto the side of the Glissado Nordics and back Scalibur with the taunt. On to Brute Bonnet, telling it to just bring it, and Brute Bonnet has fallen for that taunt. We will see it struggle, but first, Cryogon with the throat chop on to Brute Bonnet is not very effective here, and Brute Bonnet is unable to go for a move thanks to that taunt. But Gogo is going to continue that pedal dance, massive hit there on to Cryogon, but now Gogo is left confused due to the fatigue of that pedal dance. It was only able to get two instead of three hits with that move, as Baxcalibur still, that Veil of Water has been huge for the pseudo legendaries. Baxcalibur now with the Poison Tail on to Gogo, and that super effective move has taken Gogo out of this match, getting the critical hit even. I don't know if that would have been necessary, but now Kragonal looking to follow it up, goes with the Seed Flare onto Brute Bonnet, not very effective there. On to the path archetype, but Brute Bonnet having no moves left, it is going to struggle, and it takes Cryogonal out of this matchup, immediately leveling the playing field yet again, but there is the recoil damage, and Brute Bonnet is now eliminated from this matchup. So just like that, the Glissado Nordics are back in front. There's only one Pokemon left for the Striaton Greens. And Baxcalibur has been in this match since the start as the light screen wears off for the Striaton Greens. It will be close to coming out now for the Glissado Nordics. And it is going to be Toad Scroll coming out for the Striaton Greens, who is quite weak to Ice-type moves, but it's met by the Grass Pledge from Baxcalibur. And close to looking to follow it up goes with the Spirit Shackle. And this will do damage to Toadscrew, but it'll also make it so it cannot escape. And is it trying to say it cannot escape the fate of the Twisted Spoon? But Toadscrew with the guillotine, but Baxcalibur is able to avoid that move. And there is that Bale of Water yet again. That has been crucial for Baxcalibur in this matchup. Backsell now with the eerie spell total already having taken a lot of damage having its PP reduced by three in the process and close to follows it up with the slash and toad scroll is eliminated and the striating greens have taken home the twisted spoon this season this is terrible for the grass types but the glissado nordics although unable to make the victory road series were able to win their last five games and work their way up into 14th place that is phenomenal for them but in until our next game, Nidori Nars, Nidori Nars, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.